from NLFX coming to you from the American DJ booth with my friend Steve here. We're going to tell you a little bit about some of the new products American DJ has coming out. Uh, I think the first one we're going to start with is the Gobo Motion, right? Yes. Uh, we're going to be introducing a couple of fixtures. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Gobo Motion in particular, where we have six beams coming out of a fixture that has LED and also has some Gobos built in. But you can also interchange each one, so you can actually put in your own custom gobos. Very affordable, lightweight, it's uh, LED as we mentioned, it goes through color uh, motion. So it doesn't strobe um, or move because it doesn't have a motor, but it does have really cool gobos and the LED is fairly bright. It's about 10 pounds fixture, so it's a really nice fixture to have. So we could do this for like a, a wedding DJ could put this in and be a whole nother aspect for his bride and groom to use, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Most of uh, the manograms that people like to have for their weddings is like, you know, uh, congratulations or the name of the bride and groom and you can actually put those inside these gobos. That would be great. Okay, um, let's uh, go on to our next product. Okay. Okay, so now we're here with the uh, Jelly Profile PAR. System? Profile system, yes. Oh, okay. uh, and what we got here is a really new uh, fixture that we're introducing that I think we're, everybody's really excited about. Basically, what we have is a T stand, and we also have four uh, wash lights, basically a see through casing. We have this system, so it's going to be very affordable and very versatile to use. As you can see, it comes with the foot controller at the bottom here. If I select a blackout motion, then it basically turns it off sound, sound active, it'll go through the sound. And also if I go through some programs that are built in, which is a nice feature to have for bands or for a wedding DJ or somebody who just wants light in the, in the background, which is really cool. Plus the casing lights up, so it gives a little bit of a different feeling and dimension as opposed to a regular park and fixture. So you'll get the, the wash on the outside and then you also get it to light up so it gets a little bit more interesting behind the DJ as well. Exactly. The whole idea is so that a customer has something but it's different and it's new, unique. So we want to make sure we come out with innovative products this year. Does this come with a carrying case and everything for it? So yeah. it's all like one? That's a great question. We do have a carrying case that comes with it. As you can see, you can put the foot uh, the controller in here as well as the four fixtures and the T-stand. And then we also have a different uh, case in case you want something smaller for your controller or for your cables. Wonderful. So it's pretty much a, a one bag setup and it's all good to go for them. It's all good to go. It's going to be available within uh, late March and it's going to go for a map about $399, retail $699. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so the next product we're going to talk about is the Inno Color Beam. That's an LED moving wash, right? Yes, that's our new uh, high-powered moving head, dual arm, really small, compact, lightweight. Uh, I believe it's in the 26 pounds rate, so it's a very um, lightweight fixture. Really happy about it because of the fact that now uh, customers are asking for a stronger unit as far as LED output. This one's 36 LEDs, and they're 3 watts each, but that does include red, green, blue, and white LEDs. So really happy about it. It is DMX uh, functional. You do sound active, master slave. If you have um, low ceilings or if you're doing it for like a really small place or event and you want a really fast moving wash fixture, this is the perfect unit. It'll be available late March or early April. And if they wanted to, they could just leave them uh, going up the wall for up lighting as well, right? You can use them for up uh, wall lighting, uh, although they're really high output. So. Most of these you're going to be probably using in a nightclub uh, scenario just because of the fact that it's a moving head and also you have the ability that it's also going to be able to use it as a floor standing uh, fixture as well. Wonderful. I think there's one more thing that we want to talk about so we'll uh, get to that next. Okay, awesome. The last fixture we're going to talk about right now is the D6 branch which is kind of, wouldn't you call it more of a behind the scenes kind of thing? Yeah, it's definitely behind the scenes. It's not something that you would really see uh, as far as something that, that's visible, we do actually have something like this in the Arlation sister line, but American DJ came out with it. We needed it in our um, staging capabilities and um, how would you say it? You'd be able to use it for install or production, so it's really a nice fixture to have. And it's just small enough you can just hide it like behind this curtain, right? Exactly. We have it hidden right behind here. So it's just... 
just right up there, and it's, uh, it's small and compact and real nice. Yeah, it's a really small, really uh, user-friendly device, and basically what it is, it's a D6 branch splitter. Basically what it does is it comes out as a DMX input from either your console lighting console or your software uh, lighting console, and then you can able to split it six different directions depending on how you set up your trussing or your, um, your equipment laid out. But basically it does have six outputs and then a DMX in and out for your control capabil capabilities. It's also very user friendly to use. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time today, Steve. We really appreciate it.